Good morning, my friends. This morning I'm coming to you as always from the Ravens Self-Defense Academy right here in beautiful Hurricane Utah, or as the locals call it, Hurricane Utah. Uh, this morning I wanted to talk to you about how to solve a problem. There's definitely a particular skill set involved in solving any problem that you might have in your life. Whether it be a problem of how do I um, pay a bill, how do I, um, you know, I, I don't know, how do I build cabinets in my house, all the way down to how do I become happy in my life. So I'm going to teach you a couple of the uh, the methods that I that I've learned um, throughout the years, plus some of the things that I actually use in my in my daily uh, life to solve problems. Okay, uh, the first uh, the first solution here is you have to be able to ask yourself what can i do and what that's going to take is a little bit of brainstorming so for me i get out a piece of paper and a pen and a notebook or whatever and i start brainstorming all the solutions that i can possibly have now this has to be done my friends without ego in other words you can't have uh a uh a preconceived notion of what you want to happen based on your own desire to, to somehow make yourself feel better, look good, that type of thing. Well, you, the solution that you're looking for is past ego, so you have to put that out of your mind. So you'll start brainstorming all of the potential solutions to whatever the situation may be. Okay. Uh, and that can take some time. I filled up a complete notebook on uh, different uh, problems throughout the years and brainstorming. Sometimes, though, even though our intuition tends to be the best answer, it gives us the best answer, sometimes we do have to seek outside sources. But for the most part, my friends, the master is inside of you. You have it already. You already know the answers to most of your problems. Sometimes we don't want to face those answers. We don't want to face it. We don't want to look at it. Like, for example, you, um, you're you not making enough money and you can't pay your bills. What is the answer? You're going, oh, I don't know. I can't figure it out because you don't want to go and get another job or you don't want to get a second job. You don't want to save your money. You don't want to cut out, say, any energy drinks or coffee in the morning. You don't want to cut back your budget. These are... These are solutions to not having enough money that you already know, that everybody already knows. But the ego gets involved and they don't want to go there. They don't want to put in the extra hours of work. They don't want to get a second job. They don't want to cut out the energy drink or the cigarettes or whatever unhealthy habits that they might have in order to save money to increase the money. So these are answers that we already have. But sometimes we're not willing to look at those. Okay, so that's what I mean by putting it down on paper without ego, okay? Uh, the second solution here is, what can I read? If you can't figure out the answer for yourself in your brainstorming session, then what can you read? There are millions and millions and millions and millions of books written about just about any subject on the planet. You got a problem, there's a book written about it more than likely. What can I read to help me solve my solution or my problem? You may read one book and, and think, ah, oh, this guy is a total whack job. No way I can apply this. <laughs> then read another one and then another one and another one. You should become an expert at your problem so you can get a solution. There is an answer to every single problem. So that's why martial arts is so um, um, such a metaphor, if you would, for an active real life metaphor for life. Because let's say you're in jujitsu, for example, or you're in grappling situation, and you got this heavy, big guy on top of you, uh, trying to hold you down, pin you down, try to go for a submission. He's he's squishing you, basically. He's, he's squishing the breath out of you, and you can't ke catch air. You have a few choices. You can panic, flail around like a maniac, you can um, give up, or you can look for the technique to get out of the problem. 
You see, isn't that exactly what we do with our problems in life? Too many times, and I saw this just last night, you know, uh, a young man didn't get his way and all of a sudden he threw a fit, you know, had a fit. And I grabbed him by the nap of his, his, his gi and pulled him over and said, hey, you know, you get, get snap out of it, man. You know, uh, a few other things went on. But regardless, we have that option. We can throw a fit like a, like a five-year-old. You see that in, in people who get angry and they can't control their temper and they blow off the handle. Uh, you know, it's a problem. It's a blow to their ego. It's whatever. And they lose it. And then there's the opposite, the, the, uh, the opposite spectrum. You got the people that quit. Ah, this is too hard. I, I quit. I can't go on. I can't do this. You know, I, I can't pay my bills. I quit. I'm going to just let, I'm just going to just go live in my parents' basement. So what we need to do is we need to find the answer. We need to find the technique. Now that's the smart way to not only live and do jujitsu and do, do grappling and martial arts, but it's also, um, the way that successful people do it. This is the way the champions do it. There's a problem, they solve it. Like Vanilla Ice says, you got a problem, you know why I solve it? <laughs> they, they solve the problem. They don't panic, they don't get crazy. They solve the problem through a technique. And you can find that in books. And nowadays there's tons on the internet. But to be honest with you, I'd rather go to a book, read, read the whole entire book and, and absorb the information that I can that I can find. Okay. Then the, the third solution here: commit yourself to learning. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, commit to self, yourself to learning all that you can learn. That's through the books. Do that. Um, the third one is: Who can I ask? If you have brainstormed, put every solution. You've gone to your intuition. Uh, you've thought about it. And if you're, uh, you're, you're a, a, a religious person, if you prayed about it, whatever you, you do, and you still can't figure it out, you've read every single book that you can find on the subject and you still can't find the answer, then of course, the third solution is to ask someone who's been there and done that. One of the things that we do in our dojo is we try to train with only the best in the world. I've done that through my whole martial arts career. I wanted to learn jujitsu. I went to a 10th degree black belt and to learn jujitsu. I wanted to learn uh, Kempo. I went to the most hardcore Kempo person I could find who had a lineage all the way back to the founders of the, of the art. I wanted to learn kickboxing. I went to the world champion. I wanted to learn the ninja arts. I went to the, the most renowned ninja in the world. I'm not just saying this as an ego thing for me. I'm just telling you as an example. Find a, a mentor that's been there. If you go to that mentor, you said, look, I have brainstormed this. I have read everything I can. I've tried to apply different things, but I can't figure this out. Can you please take the time to help me? I would venture to say that they would, they would help you. If you can find the right mentor. So those are the three steps, my friends. Uh, brainstorm, write it, write it down, number one. Number two, read. Read everything that you can on the subject. Number three, find a mentor and ask them for help. It's a pleasure speaking with you today, coming from the Raven Self-Defense Academy here in Hurricane, Utah. If you want to know more about my martial arts or my mentoring program or even my online home study courses, please go to ravenselfdefense.com. Until next time.